Hello and welcome to Leo's Tech Talk. Here, we make tech, simple, and accessible. In today's video, we'll discuss channel bonding in Wi-Fi. Have you ever wondered how channel bonding actually works in Wi-Fi? This video will change the way you think about channel bonding forever. What is channel bonding? Channel bonding was first introduced in 802.11n, to allow 40 MHz channels followed by 802.11ac, to allow 80 MHz and 160 MHz channels followed by 802.11be, to allow 320 MHz channels to achieve higher data rates. Channel bonding was initially used in 802.11na, by bonding to 20 MHz channels to create a single 40 MHz channel and now extend it up to 320 MHz. While channel bonding can provide higher data rates, it will also result in fewer available channels. Pre-802.11n clients use 20 MHz channels. In some high-density client environments with high wireless saturation, having more available 20 MHz channels to spread client usage provides better performance than having fewer 40 MHz channels. In addition, not all regulatory domains support using a 40 MHz channel. A wider 5 GHz channel comprises primary and secondary channels. The primary channel is used for 802.11n clients that only support 20 MHz channel bandwidth example, legacy clients. Both primary and secondary channels can be used for clients that support wide channel capabilities, 40 or 80 or 160 or 320 MHz. Channel bonding necessity. Channel bonding has become a very useful mechanism for accommodating growing Wi-Fi data capacity requirements. To improve the network access rate of wireless terminals, the working bandwidth of radio channels can be increased by channel bonding. For example, two 20 MHz channels can be bonded into a 40 MHz channel, so that the bandwidth of the data transmission channel is doubled theoretically, and the wireless access rate is also doubled. If two 40 MHz channels are bonded, the wireless network rate is also doubled and so on. Channel bonding methods, according to different channel bonding methods, the operating channel bandwidths may be classified into several types. 40 plus and 40 minus, 80 MHz, 80 plus 80 MHz, 160 MHz, and 320 MHz, 40 plus and 40 minus. Two adjacent 20 MHz channels that do not interfere with each other are bonded into a 40 MHz channel. One of the two 20 MHz channels is the primary channel, and the other is the auxiliary channel. If the center frequency of the primary channel is lower than that of the auxiliary channel, the operating channel bandwidth is 40 plus megahertz. On the other hand, if the center frequency of the primary channel is higher than that of the auxiliary channel, the operating channel bandwidth is 40 minus megahertz. For example, when channels 36 and 40 are bonded into a 40 megahertz channel if channel 36 is the primary channel, the operating channel bandwidth is 36 plus megahertz. If channel 40 is the primary channel, the operating channel bandwidth is 40 minus megahertz. 2.4 gigahertz band. The 2.4 gigahertz band is 83.5 megahertz wide and has three non-overlapping channels 1, 6, and 11 in most regulatory domains worldwide. Channel bonding limits the 2.4 gigahertz band to a 40 megahertz wide single non-overlapping channel, making over half of the bandwidth unusable. It is not advised to configure the operating bandwidth to 40 MHz and 2.4 GHz. For example, only channels 1 and 5 can be bonded into a 40 MHz channel, where channel 1 overlaps with channels 2, 3, and 4. The remaining channel combinations must avoid channels 1 to 8 where channel 5 overlaps with channels 6, 7, and 8. Therefore, the remaining channels cannot be bonded into another 40 MHz channel. While some major wireless client vendors support channel bonding in 2.4 GHz and recommend using 20 MHz channel width for reliability and interference avoidance, supporting such a setting on the wireless infrastructure side could cause compatibility and interoperability issues on the client side. 80 MHz Two contiguous 40 MHz channels are bonded into an 80 MHz channel. Any of the four 20 MHz channels in the 80 MHz channel can be selected as the primary channel. For example, channel 36, 40, 44, and 48 can be bonded into an 80 MHz channel. 80 plus 80 MHz. Two non-contiguous 80 MHz channels are bonded into an 80 plus 80 MHz channel. For example, 
channels 36, 40, 44, 48, 100, 104, 108, and 112 can be bonded into an 80 plus 80 MHz channel. 160 MHz. Two contiguous 80 MHz channels are bonded into one, 160 MHz channel. Any of the 820 MHz channels in the 160 MHz channel can be selected as the primary channel. For example, channels 36, 40, 44, 48, 52, 56, 60, and 64 can be bonded into a 160 MHz channel. 320 MHz, 320 MHz channels are used on the 6 GHz band. The Wi-Fi 7 or the 802.11be adds support for extra wide 320 MHz channels. Thank you for watching.